So non-Hodgkin lymphoma is really a set of diseases that are related to cancers of lymphocytes, which is a kind of uh, white blood cell. These tend to present, uh, show up in situations within large lymph nodes, sometimes can be low blood counts, sometimes the bone marrow. Well, it can affect someone's body in a variety of ways. One can just be from a mass effect of a lump growing big and causing some kind of either discomfort or uh, anat other anatomical problem. Uh, it can also affect one's blood counts because it's a blood cell that can fill up the bone marrow space where blood cells are made and make the normal blood cell counts be very low. And finally, since it's an immune cell, it can also affect the functioning of the immune system. So people are also potentially at increased risk for infections. It's a relatively rare diagnosis. And because of this, and because of the increasing complexity of managing this disease, it's often very useful to be seen by a group that specializes in treating blood cancers, especially lymphomas, in particular if, this, if the disease has recurred. For non-Hodgkin lymphoma, this is a disease, one of the big success stories in cancer therapy. Uh, now for the aggressive lymphomas, probably two-thirds of people can be cured uh, with initial therapy, with just the first-line therapy. And there are many other uh, kinds of the slower-growing non-Hodgkin lymphomas where we have many treatments. This is an area where there have been rapid advances, improvements in outcomes, but still, unfortunately, we, we have some work to do. Many of the advances that are standard of care today are available at tertiary referral centers in clinical trials before they're available to the general public. And we really would encourage people to consider getting a consultation or a second opinion or enrolling in a clinical trial potentially if that's appropriate. Now that we understand the biology of the immune system and really understand that many cancers, the reason that they exist at all is because they evade our immune system, we are developing ways to treat cancers and in particular lymphomas with immunotherapy-based strategies. And these can be approaches where we give a medicine that can stimulate the one's own immune system. We also have approaches where we can take out the immune T cells, re-engineer them and re-infuse them to go back and uh, attack the uh, lymphoma.